Good afternoon, good afternoon. I am sand grain one, and this is my charcoal factory. As you might recognize, this is a build craft construction with uh, engines, pipes, gates, and uh, wires around uh, a furnace, uh, two furnaces actually. And uh, this is just a meter of this one, so these sides are identical. But all this pipe, um, the loop here, and uh, the pipes here with the gate logic, is to prevent item loss, or to prevent that something is used wastefully. And with that I mean two things, like here I have a furnace with four wood in it, and when I add one charcoal, uh, I am wasting 50% of it, because the charcoal would be able to burn 8, so I am now using only 50% of that piece of charcoal. So that is the first thing I want to avoid. And uh, one way to avoid this is to, to sort of control the supply of charcoal here, so that's uh, as little as possible and to keep this uh, inventory as full as possible uh, so that uh, there is never too much charcoal in the fuel slot uh, compared to compared to the items it's burning uh, the other way for potential item loss is the supply of the raw material. A redstone engine is able to provide uh, almost twice as many items as a furnace is able to burn, so the furnace will be completely filled up most of the time and any additional logs is sent in the loop. And uh, there is a few challenges with buildcraft piping that if if you browse the forum, some some people might even call it a bug. And uh, we're going to see an example of that here. I'm now feeding items into a full furnace. You can see what happens if you send items directly into a furnace like this. The items is dropped to the side, so items will go into the furnace only if there is room, and all other items is dropped on the side. And that is something people call a bug. I call it an interesting uh, mechanic. So this is something we'd, we would want to prevent from happening. One common solution is to use a golden pipe here, because a golden pipe will speed the items up. It will speed the items up, and the item will still drop, but it will have some momentum and that is enough to reach this obsidian pipe. And, that is, and this is a 100% safe solution. Nothing will ever be lost this way. And the items that is picked up is just looped back into the source chest. The drawback is the sound. You can, you can think how, how, the so how it would sound if you had 10 systems like this. I have only two furnaces in my system, but I think the sound would still be annoying. And uh, this also takes up more space, uh, takes more room than this solution. I can tell the diamond pipe to send all the wood down into the, to the black pipe, and the black pipe is down. So this diamond pipe will now give priority to the furnace. Um, as long as there is room in the furnace, the diamond pipe will now push items down into it. But as you saw there, the diamond pipe is still smart. It is able to, to figure out that oh, the furnace is full, uh, let's find an alternate route. And that's what's happening now. And that is what I'm using in my factory. Unfortunately, this does have one weakness, and that is related to uh, to the to the input here. 
if items comes too fast or in clusters. So if you have two items coming at the same time, the diamond pipe might uh, screw it up. Basically, say it nicely. You can see that this is now a fully heated redstone engine, and that is now feeding items very fast. And if you look closely, you can see two items going down at the same time. And eventually that will be one too many. So the diamond pipes believes that there is room, but as you saw, the item popped. And uh, you you, so you basically lost one item. That that item would despawn. Another example. And when when a furnace is burning item, that would happen all the time. So, and the fix for that is, of course, just to let the engine cool down. Do not let the engine reach this state. And that is the mechanism I use in, the, in, in, in this factory here. Uh, the red line is the power line. It's just a signal from the storage unit that uh, there is room for more charcoal. Please make me some. And that signal goes to all these gates. But this is the uh, raw material, supply of raw material engine. And one of the requirements is that the engine is blue. So this gate will stop the power to the redstone engine if the redstone engine turns green. And you've seen that a few times now that the engine is just blinking green. And the blink is, is fairly short. And it's short because the redstone engine is able to cool down very fast. And uh, you can also see that it stays blue fairly long. And that is because it takes a long time for the redstone engine to heat up again. So this engine is now running almost continuously. Uh, it stopped a little bit there. But it's almost not noticeable when it comes to the to the supply of raw material. So uh, this engine is now almost constantly blue and it's feeding items with the same speed all the time. And it's feeding twice as many logs as the furnace is able to, uh, to use. So one is going down and the other is sending back into the source chest. Here. And that item will of course be sent, sent again the next time. So that's the balance of the fuel, and that is now not the fuel, uh, the raw material, and uh, this slot will now be kept uh, filled up almost completely. So it will balance uh, bounce between 63 and 64 items here. Um, the fuel is a little bit more tricky. Uh, first of all, we need to check how much fuel there is. Now, well, not how much fuel there is, but we have to check if there is any fuel or not. And this is the logic for that. As long as there is fuel, or charcoal in this case, in the furnace, then this gate will send a blue pipe signal. So the blue pipe, blue pipe signal is now on. And uh, when that is on, it prevents this golden AND gate to send a redstone signal to the, the engine that feeds new fuel So we can recreate the situation. So now it started because there wasn't any charcoal here or here. And that is actually important because this gate isn't able to distinguish between this slot and this slot. And that is actually a good thing in this case. Um, when this system is turned off, so I turn off the red pipe signal. Then this engine will stop. It will stop feeding. I. Uh, it will stop feeding any new raw material. And the engine here will also stop feeding fuel. And this engine will stop taking any charcoal out of the furnace. But the furnace itself will still burn any charcoal here. 
and and create more uh, more charcoal so this slot will fill up using the items here so what this rule here this uh, this rule combined with this one does is that it prevents the system from feeding new fuel into the furnace before the produce slot is emptied and that so and that takes a little bit of time let's say that now there's two charcoal if and i stop this uh, system right now then this furnace would ha produce 16 charcoal here and that would uh, reduce this slot to 40 48 so this engine when the when this system starts up again this engine will then remove 16 charcoal from here before this engine feeds in any new fuel and the time that takes to extract those charcoal is the same time this engine needs to refill this slot so while this slot is emptied this uh, f uh, this slot is refilled uh, before any new charcoal is added to the f uh, fuel slot so that is a security security mechanism to prevent uh, to prevent imbalance between uh, the raw material slot and the fuel slot um, basically making sure that there is always plenty of raw material for the fuel uh, that is added and this is a buffer chest for the fuel just uh, so this factor will always maintain a stack of 64 charcoal that it can use for itself and that, uh, that uh, chest is uh, just refilled by the output from the furnace like you saw now like you saw, saw now uh, the one charcoal uh, went down and uh, when you have an intersection like this or when you have a pipe just passing by a chest and the chest is full then the chest will be treated as if it's not there so now it is filled up completely and a full chest will now be treated as if it's not there so all charcoal that comes here now will be sent up so even if I do have a normal pipe here a normal pipes is smart enough not to send any items down into a full chest uh, I did have a diamond pipe here in the beginning just to give this chest a priority but there is so many so many charcoal coming here compared to the charcoal going out so uh, so uh, I discovered that this uh, this chest would be refilled uh, even uh, even with a normal pipe here so I did it like that and I think that was everything everything works the same just mirrored on this side the rules are the same uh, and yeah uh, I also have uh, the heat indicator you can see it uh, so you saw it blink green there and that is that is really not needed on this on this engine but uh, I added this rule because I well I had room for the rule and I really don't need the engine to, to, to heat up uh, right now it is the f it is the furnace that uh, sort of limits the speed of the item flow here so I could have that uh, I could have had that engine heat up but it isn't needed and it's the same here of course so the same rules on both sides and items is merged here uh, the item pipes is merged here and sent to the storage unit that is slowly being filled up and I think that was everything from me this time. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.